Welcome to Super Great Kids Stories. Fun tales to make you laugh and cry with some of the best storytellers from around the world. Recommended for ages 5 to 105. I'm Kim and I love stories. This is a Super Great Kids Story Valentine's special. It's a fairy tale about a friendship between a frog and a princess. We'd like to dedicate it to eight-year-old Matilda, who gave us a lovely review on Apple Podcasts. Thank you, Matilda. Have you ever met a talking frog? Well, in this tale, a princess meets a talking frog and they become good friends. The story was written down over 200 years ago by two brothers from Germany who love fairy tales. This was one of their favourites. I think they probably kept frogs as pets. Mouth open. Story jump out. Once upon a time of magic, when chickens had teeth and pigs had wings, there was a princess. Princess Frankie was brave. Princess Frankie was strong. Princess Frankie could do lots of things. She could skip, she could hop, she could even climb trees, but... Princess Frankie could not catch a ball. Every time she threw a ball, it went up, oop, and it came down, ooh, thump, boing, 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 boing. Away it rolled down the path. And Princess Frankie often cried, but she was determined to learn. For her birthday, her dad, the king, gave her a golden ball. Now, Frankie... Take this ball and try and try and try until you can catch it every time, OK? Phantasmagorical, said Frankie, and gave her dad a hug and a big sloppy kiss. And Princess Frankie ran off to practice catching her golden ball. Up it went, ooh, and down, ooh, thump, boing, 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 boing. Away it rolled down the path. The next day, Princess Frankie went off to play in the woods and guess what she took with her? That's right, her golden ball. The sun was shining and Princess Frankie felt strong. This was the day she was going to learn to catch her ball. I wonder if I could throw my ball all the way to the sun. Ooh! And down it came. Ooh! Oops! Boing, 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 boing. Away it rolled down the path. But Princess Frankie did not cry. I'm just going to try and try and try again until I can do it. And she ran along the path, picked up her ball and threw it so high into the sky that it disappeared. Suddenly, she saw it coming down towards her like a supersonic comet. Quickly, she put out her cupped hands like her dad had taught her, but at the very last minute, she got a bit scared and whoops! It slipped through her fingers and boing, 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 boing. Away it rolled down the path. Princess Frankie chased after it as it rolled away, but too late. Splash! Princess Frankie's beautiful golden ball landed in the middle of a deep, deep river. And... Glug, 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 glug. It sank beneath the water. Princess Frankie looked at the last few bubbles bobbing on the surface where her beautiful golden ball had been and guess what? She threw back her head and bawled. Excuse me, dear, why all the tears? Princess Frankie looked up. Princess Frankie looked down. Princess Frankie looked all around, but all she could see was a slimy green frog sitting next to her. She stared at the frog and pulled a face. Was that you? Yep, I'm getting wet and I wondered why you were crying. I've lost my golden ball. It rolled into the river and I can't swim and now I can never see my beautiful golden ball again and I'll never ever learn to catch a ball and oh, my dad's going to be so... Please stop crying. It hurts me ears and it makes you look a bit ugly. Well, that's a bit cheeky coming from a frog, said Princess Frankie. 
My mum always says that every frog is a prince in the eyes of his mother. Well, you don't look much like a prince to me, said Princess Frankie. The frog just looked sad. Well, I reckon I could find your ball for you. But what could you give me in return? I could give you my hamster, or my unicorn pyjamas, or, or my book of awesome animals, or... Hold it right there, said the frog. I'm not interested in your hamster, or your book of awesome animals, or even your unicorn pyjamas. Oh, please, 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 Mr Frog, I'll give you anything. Just find my golden ball. Anything? asked the frog. Yes, anything, said Princess Frankie. Right, then I'll tell you what I'd like. It's hard to make a friend when you're a slimy, muddy frog, and I'd like to be your friend and come to your house for tea and a sleepover. If you let me do that, said the frog, then I'll find your golden ball. Is that all? Of course you can come for tea and a sleepover. <gasps> no probs, said Princess Frankie, rather pleased that Froggy didn't want her unicorn pyjamas. So the little frog hopped off the rock and swam down, down, down to the bottom of the river. Glub, 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 glub. Princess Frankie waited one minute. She waited two minutes. She waited three minutes. And after what seemed like a very long time, up popped Froggy on the side of the bank. And guess what he was clutching? The golden ball! Yee-haw! She took it from him, rubbed the slime off on her shorts and ran skippity-hop, skippity-hop, skippity-hop back towards the palace. Oi! Wait for me, croaked the little frog. A bit hurt, the Princess Frankie didn't even say thank you. But Frankie had forgotten all about the frog by now. She was running faster than the wind itself, clutching her precious golden ball. One week later came the sound of gloopy feet slopping up the palace steps. Hop, 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 hop. There was a knock at the palace door. Bang, bang, bangity, bang. Hello, the house. It was tea time and Princess Frankie was eating strawberry ice cream sundae when a messenger came into the hall. <clears throat> Your Majesty, there's a young frog at the door. He says that Princess Frankie invited him over for tea and a sleepover. Princess Frankie blushed. Frankie, asked the king, is this true? Well, maybe just a teeny weeny tiny itsy bitsy true, Daddy, said Princess Frankie. She told her dad the sorry story of losing her ball and the froggy rescuing it from the bottom of the river. And did you invite him for tea and a sleepover? Well, Frankie squirmed, maybe I did, but... I didn't think he'd come. Daddy, I don't want to have a slimy old frog at our tea table and I definitely don't want one for a sleepover, so please, Daddy, tell him to go away. The king looked at Frankie. He was not happy. Princess Frankie, a promise is a promise, said her dad gravely. You must invite this little froggy who got your ball back to come and have tea with us. So Froggy was invited to hop up onto the table and sit next to Frankie. He had a piece of slimy pondweed sticking out of his ear and he smelt of river mud. Yum, yum, yummity, yum, this is scrum diddlyumptious, said Frog, slurping some of the princess's ice cream. Princess Frankie stared at her strawberry sundae and pushed it away in disgust. What a terrible day. It couldn't get worse. But it could, and it did. Bedtime arrived. Princess Frankie was hoping she could persuade the frog to sleep in a box by her bed. But in one quick hop, boing, Froggy was up on her bed and settling slimily onto her pillow. Will you tell me a story? asked the frog. Now, Princess Frankie loved telling stories, but not really to a frog. Then she thought, ah, maybe it'll put Froggy to sleep and I could tiptoe away to another part of the palace. So, 
very quietly, she began. Once upon a time, there was a frog who really wanted a friend. Is that me in the story? asked the frog. Yes, I think it's you, said Princess Frankie. Do you have lots of friends? asked the frog. No, said the princess, not real friends. It's, it's a bit tricky being a princess and making real friends. Yes, said Frog. Does it get a bit lonely? A bit, said the princess, a tear slipping down her cheek and plopping onto the frog's head. Oh, please don't cry, said Frog. I'll get all wet and I've just got comfy. I'll be your friend, said the frog. It's not easy being a frog and making friends either. Now, Princess Frankie was a little bit spoiled, but she was also a kind princess, really. And when Frog offered to be her real friend, she was rather pleased. Thank you. You want the princess snuggling down. I'd like that. And without thinking, she kissed the little frog on top of his head. Suddenly, there was a deafening crack and a blinding flash. Kaboom! The princess covered her eyes, covered her ears, and when she opened them... The frog had disappeared. Standing in her bedroom was a skinny boy with a big smile. Oh, wow, said Prince Freddy. You kissed me and broke the spell. That's pretty cool. I did what? asked Princess Frankie, by now very wide awake. Oh, I was rude to a grumpy witch, explained Prince Freddy, and she turned me into a frog. But you've broken the spell by kissing me, and now I don't have to be a lonely frog anymore. How can I thank you enough? Well, you could start by teaching me to catch a ball, laughed Princess Frankie. It's a deal, said Prince Freddy. I'll meet you at the river tomorrow. So that is how Prince Freddy and Princess Frankie became the best of friends. And that is why Princess Frankie thinks very carefully before making a promise and why Prince Freddy is always very polite when talking to witches. And Princess Frankie and Prince Freddy spent many happy days together, throwing and catching balls and swimming in the river. And guess what? They both lived, that's right, happily ever after. Mouth open, story jump back in. Thanks for listening. I'd particularly like to thank all our followers in Denver. It's great to have your support. If you'd like to support our podcast, then head over to ko-fi.com forward slash super great kids stories. And if you like drawing, we'd love to see your super great pictures on Instagram. Tag us at super great kids stories. And finally, if you want to tell us about your favourite story, go to our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash supergreatkidsstories or our website supergreatkidsstories.com. We'd love to hear from you. And remember to like, subscribe, follow and review us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts.